Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and uh, I have the most awesome uh, Painkiller Already update to share with you guys, so don't click away. Uh, let me explain uh, first the background to the guys who don't uh, listen to Painkiller Already or, or watch that video. I had my friend Dan on recently, and Dan's story is this. He's divorced, and he's divorced because uh, some guy over Facebook wrote his wife convinced her to send like semi-nude pictures sent topless photos of himself and he was real clever and you know like hey i sent a picture with uh, my shirt on can you send your shirt on and and uh dan being a, a, a computer guy like me was able to like hack their accounts get the pictures off erased cameras and and like totally snoop like like the pro he is so um anyway on the podcast, I was like, let's get this guy's name. Let's give this guy's name out to the world and uh, and let him know. Because this guy was married. This guy was married and he knew that, um, that Dan's wife was married, yet he's still having this like online affair with her. And, uh, and I thought that was, that was terrible. And, and eventually Dan got divorced. Now Dan has four daughters. He has four daughters and this guy ruined it. And I'm like, F this guy, man, F this guy. I care as much about him as, uh, as he does about your marriage. I'm not happy until he's suicidal. Well, um, after the podcast, Dan got a little fired up the way he tells it. He's like, I had some of that tiger blood in me. And, um, so what Dan did is he wrote the guy an email. And he's like, look, there are two things I want from you as punishment. And, and he decided not to ruin the guy's marriage as revenge, which I think is a pretty noble thing to do. It's, it would have been hard for me to do. <laughs> but, uh, um, but, you know, Dan was like, look, I don't want to ruin this guy's marriage. He has his own kids. He has his own wife. You know, do two wrongs really make a right? But um, he wanted to scare him. So he's like, this is what I want from you. I want you to, um, to look at your wife and kids and think about what you've done. I want you to understand you know, the, the kind of damage that you're doing and, and what you put at risk. He's like, the other thing I want you to do is disguise your face, stand in front of the bathroom mirror since you're so good at doing that, and take a picture of yourself that with, <laughs> worth a Sharpie. To, to write on his own chest with a sharpie pwned by painkiller already <laughs> and uh, the guy wrote back and uh, he's like oh dude that wasn't me somebody hacked my facebook account and then used pictures of me and, and it, it's total nonsense i'm pretty gullible and i don't believe this crap he also says that he's terminally ill and he's hiding behind jesus and uh uh, just the fact that this guy is so on the ropes, the fact that this guy is, is telling lies, pretending to be dying, pretending to have found Jesus in the process, and, um, and, and scared and writing back to Dan is, uh, is kind of glorious to me. And I thought I would share it with you guys, give you a little update. This guy is having a hard time, and he's scared, and it's awesome.